Hey, back. So in the last video we were mainly talking about the folder structure and what Laravel is. So if this is the first video where you're tuning in, you're welcome. Um, we also had a short glimpse at views in Laravel and at the Blade templating engine. So if you're not familiar with that, you probably might want to watch the last minutes of the previous video. Otherwise, we'll continue from here. So as I said, we'll build up an application where we'll be able to uh, to log in or to sign up then to log in, to see posts of our people, to like and dislike those posts and to create posts ourselves. We might throw in some mailing later, but that's the core functionality. And even though um, you might think, okay, that, that sounds not too difficult, it has quite a lot of components which, well, you have to do right. Authentication, database access, um, those are two very difficult topics in a way that you can mess up things there and they tend to influence the security of your overall, overall application. On the other hand, then that are parts that you will encounter in a lot of client projects and therefore it's good if you're able to do them right. So in our application, where we will start this video is we'll build that sign up and sign in screen. So that should be like the welcome view we currently have just um, with, let's say, a sign up form and next to it the sign in form. As I said, I don't have that readily prepared in another window, so I'm kind of coming up with the design and so as we speak. And I think that that's something cool. Um, as this video isn't about design, and don't worry, there will be a lot uh, of design and CSI videos coming up on this channel. Um, I'm just going to throw in the bootstrap CSS framework so that I've got something to work with and we can focus on Laravel. Um, so let me just grab that. So I'm now on the bootstrap side and I'm just clicking here on download bootstrap and that very first link is currently all I need. I'll just copy that and then I'll go to my master and in the head section below my title in this case here, I'll just copy it in. And now this link will be available in, in all the pages which inherit from that master layout. So let me save that. And in my welcome view, as I said, I want to have two columns um, with a form in each of those columns. And additionally, now that I think of it, we also need a header, which on our starting page won't hold any items because well, we can't navigate anywhere. We have to first sign up or sign in. But in the later stages of the app, that header will actually allow us to, to create a post, to maybe see all our posts and to see all posts in the timeline. So therefore, let me create that header first and I'll create an include folder here. Include includes and the name is purely up to me or up to you um, in this folder I'll store files which will be included or can be included by by other views or by for example our master layout which in the end just is a normal view a normal PHP file here so I will create a header dot blade dot php file and again the dot blade dot php is very important otherwise you won't be able to use it in conjunction with the blade templating engine and inside this file uh, i'll now um just yeah I'll, I'll just go to bootstrap again because i want that to be very simple i'll just grab their navigation bar over here which is crowded with, with stuff I won't need, but I'll get rid of that in a second and just toss in some header tags before I copy all of that in. And now let's see, yeah, the brand, okay, that can stay, but I don't need that unordered list here. I don't need the search form and I don't need that unordered list. So um, I got rid of all the menus. And if we now reload, we don't see anything because yeah, we created a header, but we're not including it yet. So let me go to my master layout here and right above the container in the body section, I'll add another template expression, the add include expression. And in quotation marks, I specified the path to the file which should be included. 
In this case, it's an includes directory, then dot to access that directory, and then the header file. Again, without dot blade dot PHP at the end. So I now included that header, and if we reload, yeah, we now see that header. Great. So we got that. Back to my welcome view. As I said, I went to to columns. So I'll first create a row because we're here in the Bootstrap framework, and then I will create a column. Uh, with a, which would be half the size of the screen, so six, column six, because we have a 12 column grid in Bootstrap. And I'll just, oh, I'll copy it later because first I'll create my form here um, with a method of post. And this will be the sign up form. So what I'll have here is first a form group, which is a Bootstrap class to uh, take care about the alignment and so on of my form elements or my inputs. In this form group, I'll have a label and the first field will be my email address. So I'll just write your email and then I'll have, a, I'll have an input field with a name of email and an ID of email. And I'll, and I, oh, that's important, almost forgot it. I'll need to add the form control class uh, for bootstrap so that it all looks nice. Now let me copy that two time because this time instead of mail, I'll have my, let's say my, my first name because we're in the sign up area here. And yeah, let's say we don't care about the second name to keep that lean, but we want to know the first name. Uh, so that's Fine. And here we want the user to enter a password. So I'll just replace email with password here. And I'll also replace the type of text to password so that the characters are hidden. Now I also need a button. So let me just create one button submit of type submit. And this will get a class button, button primary. So that should be that blue button, this blue bootstrap button you see in half the websites out there. Now let me copy that whole column here. And this will be our sign in form. So I don't need the first name here, but the rest will be the same. What I also want to do is I want to add a little heading to tell the user just um, what the forms are, are meant for. So sign in and sign up. Let me reload. Yeah, why are they not appearing next to each other? Column six. And because that is not valid bootstrap syntax, I have to specify the device width or, or size. So I'll target medium sized devices and all devices which are smaller than medium sized, which if I remember correctly are tablets and mobile phones in the bootstrap framework here will show that those two forms not next to each other, but beneath each other. So now we, now we get the few I want. And if we like um, bring in the inspection, area here and if I resize this window you can see once we're getting to this breakpoint here at 992 pixels it seems then this form breaks and it is stacked um, a stacked view here. So now we got the form ready for us to enter some data and uh, yeah, obviously you could do much more to look that pretty, but the video is not about styling or the series is not about styling. So I think that's fine. And we, we added it our, our first few. So we did that. Now in the next video, uh, we'll actually get a little bit deeper into Laravel and not just uh, do all that front end stuff, which yeah, is part of Laravel. The plate templating engine is part of Laravel, but in the end we're running a server side code here, server-side framework. So we will have a little bit more than just styling some HTML files, right? See you in the next video. Bye.